Hey, this is Mike. Here is a 2015 Ram 1500 uh, Laramie um, at night. So just kind of go through all the the lights and what it looks like and the different just basically what it looks like at night. Now this is the Laramie. Now the, the different trim packages will look a little bit different. But, um, but right now I do have the parking lights on. And you can see here it's got like a like an LED accent there in yellow on both sides and this door light I have the door slightly open to show you this light comes on and that's underneath the side mirror now when I shut the door it'll go off in a minute like that but when you go to open the door it turns on kind of gives you some light on the outside of the vehicle but um, before I go inside of the truck, I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the headlights here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the fog lights on as well by pushing the button. So now we've got the headlights, the projector headlights, and the fog lights on. And now we can go ahead and look at the back of the truck. So basically LED lamps there. And you got your tag lights there. Now this does have a cargo light. Go ahead and turn that on. It's this button here. So now the cargo light is on us right up there and illuminates the back of the truck. The bed of the truck. Alright, let me go ahead and do the turn signals. You got a side marker there on the side mirror. You got that light there that flashes. And then you got your flashing light there. All right. So now moving on the inside of the vehicle, here's the back seat. You do have a like an ambient light here in the door and here next to the handle so you can kind of tell where those two places are now this there is a pocket here which is not illuminated but it gives you a general idea here's the back we've got a nice light there in the middle this kind of illuminates the whole top of the seat but we'll also have lights underneath the seat that illuminate the floorboard I'll lift this up so you can see there's the light there. Nothing in the cargo space underneath the seat. And back here you have the heated seats and the buttons for that is they are both illuminated. Now here's the driver's door. This whole ambient light here is nicely lit up. Looks pretty fancy. And then you got your buttons here, backlit. Now, let's see here. You got your door lock controls, your power mirror controls, but your side mirror controls, it's hard to really tell, but they don't look like they're, yeah, they don't look like they're eliminated at all to themselves. Now when you push the buttons right or left, that lights up, but you know, unless you can feel which one is right and which one is left, you don't really know. And then you got your illumination there for your handle. You got this illuminated for your lights. Your adjustable pedals button is not illuminated. Your floorboard is nicely illuminated. The seats are nicely illuminated by these lights here. 
really good amount of light on the inside from the lights front and back so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in shut the door and the interior lights fade out so now you're left with the illuminated buttons your dash lights now I have everything um, turned up really high you can adjust the brightness there but I've got everything really bright so you can just kind of see it but there's your your gauges there's the buttons there on your steering wheel both sides are illuminated you connect systems very bright when you want it to be all these buttons are real easy to find real easy to see and understand what they are and then you've got a little light here right there now sometimes I get that mixed that little light mixed up with the infrared sensor which is up here as well but that kind of cast a little bit of light down here on this little area so that way you just got a little kind of bit a little bit of light shining here so you can kind of see where everything is and I'm not sure if you can turn that off or not but it's there slipping this up this is your center console and you got your inputs there they're illuminated lift the whole thing up and this one has the CD player which has the illuminated buttons This top glove compartment has a nice bright light. The bottom one does not. No light there. You got your garage door controls, your back sliding glass. Now these are tap lights where you can push these and turn them on or off if you want. Visors have lights and mirrors in them. But basically, I mean, you can see everything's backlit, which is really, really, really handy at nighttime. <clears throat> and you can, you know, adjust everything. And that little bit of ambient light kind of helps out here in the center, you know, where you kind of would need to put stuff when you're driving. So you're not really fishing in the dark with a flashlight or anything. But, um, but yeah, pretty neat. There's no not seeing any floor illumination when the door shut and the lights are out some of them some vehicles have a little bit of illumination in the floor this looks completely dark now when you open up the door you've got every light all the lights you want but uh but anyway if you have any questions or anything if, anything that I didn't go over or any particular thing you want me to focus on let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time